So the next uh, big trend at the moment is that celebrities are jumping all over Kickstarter and Indiegogo because they don't have enough of your money. They want more and the studios uh, don't want to fork it over to them. So they want you to fund all their projects. So the, uh, the big ones people know about is Zach Braff is getting the sequel to Garden State uh, made via Kickstarter and he got the money, he, what he got it in like a day. Two seconds. Basically, right. in about a half a second through one tweet. Uh, Veronica Mars is coming back and it's gonna be crowdfunded. Uh, and then the new one now is uh, James Franco wants 500,000 bucks to get a couple books that he wrote uh, made into movies. And this seems very bizarre to me because these people have more money than all of us. <laughs> and they also want to still take our money. We also pay a lot of money to go to their movies and all that stuff. Is this like the height of just Hollywood bull shit? Sean. Absolutely. I Is feel this like, the I feel, worst? But I, I feel like when, when the whole concept of Kickstarter came about, it was such a great idea and it was cool for these indie artists who needed some way to make their crappy album. Yeah. So now, right, right. you know, and, and good ones too. And actually, Logo had its first ever crowdsourced uh, television series called DTLA that aired that was all crowdsourced and it didn't, uh, Logo wasn't a part of it until till later, but right. I thought that was interesting. So it was crowdsourced and then made its way to the network. Right, which right. I think is kind of the way it should be, is that it starts out with a bunch of people who don't have a ton of money, they put something together, then someone takes notice, like a small TV channel, and puts on your project, but already being famous, if you already have over $500,000, you shouldn't ask poor people to submit to your passion projects. Yeah, I mean, doesn't this just, like the 500,000 also from James Franco seems bonkers because I'm sure the he guy has, has millions of dollars. Dress. So like, we're, we're all out there mm -hmm. putting our stuff out there and working hard. So why should he have people that have less money than him fund yeah. his project? Like what's the psychological thing going I on? I have mixed there? feelings on it. First of all, Part of it does say to me he probably does have $500,000 that if he really believed in his own project, he could invest in himself the way all of us have invested in ourselves in what, with whatever money and time we have, you know, like normal people building themselves up. You're like, if I have $10, that's gonna go towards my career, my internet, whatever it is that we're right. doing. But you know, I'm not entirely mad at it. I know when Zach Braff did his, people were rolling their eyes and annoyed, but a lot of people really liked Garden State and studios. If you've ever worked with a studio before, they're really impossible. They're not gonna give you final cut. Your vision isn't gonna come to fruition. They're gonna say, you know, well, we need like a bigger star or a better soundtrack. We wanna change what you've written into this, this, and that. Yeah. So, I will say the argument for some of these celebrities is that they already have worked with the studios and probably haven't gotten to even show who they really are. You know, to them, to a James Franco or a Zach Braff, they're thinking, well, I've gotten to put out all the stuff, but it's been under, you know, all these people in suits telling me this is who I am in front of people. So a Kickstarter or Indiegogo gives them the opportunity to be like, okay, I'm an artist that people already are familiar with, but here's how I would do it if I were allowed to. If you gave me your money, this would be my vision, right. rather than the corporate vision we probably see most of the time. Right, and as artists, you're speaking my language, so why don't we listen to the artist himself, James Franco. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing to all help me adapt these stories. We just need a little bit more help. I'm just asking you for a little more help. I'm putting um, money into these um, projects because I believe in them, I believe in these filmmakers, and um, these stories are um, very important to me and very personal. I find that this process is very exciting, that this is um, the best way to make movies. Because in this way, um, the movies we want to make get made in the ways that we want to make them. That the only considerations are how to make the best movies possible. He's so hot. Oh. <laughs> so dreamy. I love him like you can have my money. Yeah, and his goals are so lofty, you aren't know, they? It's so douchey, though. I just it's kind of douchey, though. Yeah, and also I think it does go to what you're saying of like when these things started, it was like let's get water to children in Africa, <laughs> or you know, Not let's have, them, help help clef pallets or something like there that. There were a lot of Kickstarters that were just like that too, that were like, we want to make a cool movie, but studios won't listen to us because they're the man, so fund my movie about, I mean, their Garden State-esque movie that just had nothing to do with the celebrity or Zach Braff. There was a lot of that. Yeah. Or the artists, artists that need auto-tune. <laughs> like, exactly. I'm right. almost yeah, there, cool. I just need auto-tune. Right, yeah, yeah. I mean, there was a lot of that. I mean, I remember, what was it, Jenny Owens Young or whatever, she couldn't make her second album because her first didn't do as well. I think that it was her, so she funded, you know, her 
her next album on that. So people have funded their own projects that have had semi-fame. I just don't think it was until this Zach Braff, James right. Franco thing that it's become like a thing. So on a personal level, would you guys, because I have thought about it, I, I kind of, I just generally don't like the idea of asking for people I like putting stuff out and then hopefully finding yes. like ancillary ways that you make a, a dime off it. But I, I can't say that the thought has never crossed my mind to be like, look, I do some good stuff that people seem to enjoy, and if everyone that watched or listened or read my tweets would give me a buck a month, mm -hmm. I'd have a lot of money and I could probably do this in a, in a 10 times sure. greater way. But somehow that even feels a little slimy to me. Does that yeah. feel like like that you're asking when it's like? I've thought about that too. I've actually, it's it's. I've had projects where I thought, oh, I could put this on Indiegogo or Kickstarter, and then something about it made me feel strange asking for money. So maybe we need therapy for that because clearly there's other people that have no problem going and saying, I'm amazing, pay me for it. Ooh, right. Great idea. Uh, Jen and I are going to start a Kickstarter for comedians <laughs> that need therapy to be able to accept. Kickstarter money. Yeah. Also, I have an idea. I'm going to start a Kickstarter uh, to stop uh, rich people from doing uh, Kickstarters. Sean, any final thoughts on this? I um, I don't know. I've, one Kickstarter thing I think is really funny is I saw parents or potential parents put a Kickstarter up to adopt a child, and I'm thinking if that's they're starting with the adoption process, then they're going to have a Kickstarter for school clothes. They're going to have a Kickstarter <laughs> for college. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, they they were saying wow. we need help to adopt a child. God, and like and as I that is, th they're really in for a rude awakening. Yeah. I think they think that being a parent's really inexpensive. You're like if you already don't have the resources, that's a little scary to me. Yeah. Do they get funded? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope no. that. I, I think their aunts and uncles were like, okay, Thank I'll do this once, child. but this is it, kid. You yeah. know? Social services are sitting outside, <laughs> like. Hmm. They ended up getting like 150 bucks, and they got right, an aquarium exactly. or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah.